All right, let's roll. Week number 15 in the National Football League. Dexter Reed, World of Matchups. Spencer the Wiz breaking down the touchdown. Tennessee Titans headed to SoFi Stadium to take on Justin Herbert. And Stoley, Stanley, whatever the hell his stupid name is. And the Los Angeles Chargers. Look, Tennessee killed every ticket I had last week. Every single one. I would have, bruh. I would have been in, I, I'd be on an island somewhere if they would have just done what they were supposed supposed to do because there was so much money just banking on waiting on that game and you go to you you lose to the Jacksonville Jaguars so before we even break this down I just got to say man look I don't know what your thoughts are but Trevor Lawrence is him Trevor Lawrence needs a coach I know he's been up and down a little bit this year but I'm telling you I'm telling you man you guys watch this kid's career with a level of freaking enthusiasm because he is going to be a really good quarterback he picked that team he shredded that team shredded how are you losing to Jacksonville Titans, Tennessee, when you need you need the game? You need the game. Every single game right now is super important for you because the seedings are about to fall, and you may fall out of playoff contention with these kind of losses. So now you get another shot. You fly into SoFi Stadium. You take it on a Chargers team that's getting Keenan, who's gotten Keenan Allen back, who's gotten Mike Williams back, who, in my mind, they just dismantled Miami. I mean, they were just clearly the better team. And they're home. You know, people are talking about Justin Herbert as being, you know, a social media quarterback. He's not that good. Look, he looked damn good to me. Justin, he, Justin Herbert's him too. He looked damn good to me. Now, is he elite? I don't, I'm not willing to say that just yet. But I mean, my goodness, how many quarterbacks are you going to take all their weapons away and have them be elite? I mean, Patrick Mahomes is in a class by himself. He's like the only one. You take Stefan Diggs away from Josh Allen, that team is nothing. You know what I mean? You take A.J. Brown away from, you know, the Eagles. You you have the Eagles of last year. Look, I fully expect the Chargers to have another great performance here and, and stop Tennessee. I do. I, I mean, I know their favorites. I can't take Tennessee again after that future performance that they had last week. I know Derrick Henry is God, but he didn't look like it last week. And I know that the Charger run defense is not great. But you don't have to stop Derrick Henry. You just have to control Derrick Henry. And what happens is if the Chargers get up in this game, double digits at all, you might as well send Derrick Henry to the locker room because he just is not on the field when they're behind. And so I'm taking a galvanized Justin Herbert, Mike Williams, Austin Eckler, Keenan Allen. Hell, man, they even got Joshua Palmer, who is more than serviceable in the absence of those guys. And I think they're going to put up another performance. And I think all of a sudden we have to be talking now about the Los Angeles Chargers finding their way back into the playoff mix here because I just don't trust that Tennessee offense. Derrick Henry left, Derrick Henry right, Derrick Henry up the middle. That's it. A couple dump-offs to Austin Hooper. Hooper. Robert Woods is a bum. Traylon Burks has been okay, but like they're all, you have to be able to score points on the road as a team that doesn't score points versus a team that does score points. So I, I think three is just about right. I know you like Tennessee here, but I'm going with the Chargers on back-to-back -back weeks to make me look like a genius. Your thoughts? Yeah, I'm going to take Tennessee in the uh, in wake of taking them last week, but. I'm not a week-to-week -week better necessarily. I think I'm going to take a Tennessee on a tease here. I love plus a nine. I think that's like one of my favorite bets of the week. I've just seen Josh Jacobs, I mean, absolutely eviscerate the LA Chargers to the point where the other team can control the game because the Chargers are that bad at stopping the run. And if that's the case, I mean, this is a get-right game for Tennessee. Well, last week was supposed to be, but... You'd imagine an extra little bit of motivation here is probably all they need now. I mean, they probably were taking it too easy last week. I'm not sure. But really, they would have won that game anyways. They didn't turn the ball over like three times. And even at the end of the game, they were competitive in it. it Evan Ingram has the game of his life versus your team. Your secondary is absolute trash. <laughs> They're trash. Justin Herbert's going to have a career day tomorrow. I'm telling you. He's going to have a it's career day. It almost feels like whoever scores the first touchdown wins the game for some it reason. It could because be. Because then it comes down to controlling the passing game for the Chargers or controlling the run game, you know, with Tennessee. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. But I, I don't see a blowout happening. I just think that Tennessee mm -hmm. really is going to be able to run the ball so successfully that it's the game's just naturally going to be close because there's going to be less time in the game because the clock's going to be constantly running from running, right. you know, from them running the football. Right. So we'll see. And maybe I'll take the under in this game, too. It kind of sounds interesting with a lot of running going on. There's just less time to score. But I, I like Tennessee. I mean, I, I think that they can win this game. I'm not really, 
I'm not a believer in the Chargers because I just don't believe in Brandon Staley. I think he's a really bad coach, and I think he he's like bad. ruins games for them. So, you know, he like he's he makes bad. them lose games by the positions that he puts them in and the way that he yeah, goes I'm for not it a big and all fan that. Of him. Yeah, so, here's the deal. I think that the Chargers can win without running the ball, but Tennessee cannot win without passing the ball, and that's going to be the difference. That's going to be the difference, and when that happens, I take the better quarterback who in my mind is easily Justin Herbert, and I take the team who's at home, which is easily the L.A. Chargers. It'll be a good game. This is desperation for both teams because they know whoever loses this game and the playoffs aren't looking that good. Whoever wins this game and they're back in the driver's seat, this is almost a playoff game atmosphere. When it is, take the home team. Chargers minus three, Tennessee plus three. We're split. World of matchups, Blue Milk Boys Gaming. Best bets are up next.